Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to more Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we caught Entei, Raikou, and Suicune, and we went back to Celadon City where we spoke to Yusin, who told us that a rainbow Pokemon had appeared in Ecrutique City. In this episode, we're gonna... Uh, uh, <laughs> I screwed up so much. <laughs> oh wow. In this episode, we're gonna try and catch this rainbow Pokemon. So, what we're gonna do is head to the Tin Tower and see what is going on there. Off screen, I actually need to show you something. I trained a Parasect to level 50, because Parasect actually really impressed me in the last episode. And I have, yeah, decided to train up to level 50. I will need it to outspeed this Pokemon so I can't use Spore. So that is why, well, that's one of the main reasons why I've trained it up to such a high level. And because if I ever lose a Pokemon, at least I'll have a uh, replacement ready with Parasect. So, what we're going to do again is head to the Tin Tower. The Tin Tower. Uh, the Tin Tower. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know why I said that three times, but here we are. And we are going to speak with one of the elders who's back here. So let's see what he has to say. This will protect you. Take it. So we received the rainbow wing from the elder. And he says... Now go. Not very talkative, but okay. So what we're going to do is scale the tin tower. And I'm going to spray repel because I don't want any wild Pokemon appearing. So let me just uh, get one of those ready. I have 33 max repel, so that should cover me for the majority of the place. I'll only need to use like probably three or something, but anyway, it's just good to get them out of the way. So there's actually like an abundance of items you can get up here. Uh, we're just going to probably go through the puzzle first. I may get the items on the way back, but uh, yeah, the main thing to do here is probably just go through the puzzle, which is rather easy, honestly. So let me just scout this out for a second. I believe we're meant to go over this way and uh, there's an item that way, so I could have probably went that way to get it, but I believe the stair is over this way, so I'm mainly going through the staircases first, trying to get to where I'm supposed to go, then I'll probably get the items on the way back, and that's, it sounds sort of logical to me, I don't know how it sounds to you guys, but it sounds smart to me, so I'll uh, we'll just uh, get up here, I'll try to get to the legendary Pokemon as fast as possible. Here's an item for us to pick up, it is a max potion, so if you're in here, you may want to pick it up. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I didn't actually know you could get Ho-Oh in this game until my friend told me that you had to catch the legendary beasts. So, it was actually, uh, this is my first time actually doing this on Crystal ever. I've done it on, like, uh, Gold and Silver, obviously, because it's easier to do it then. You just automatically get the Rainbow Wing. But, on, uh, on Crystal, you actually have to, like, work for it. There's a Max Revive that I don't need. So, I'm gonna, like, throw that away right away, because this is a Nuzlocke, and Max Revives are totally worthless. So, I actually have a Rare Candy there. I could use that on a Pokemon. I may wait a bit. Yeah, I think I'll wait till maybe uh, after I catch all the legendaries, I think. So, actually, yeah, it would probably be good to use it now, but I think I'll wait. I can I can sit this out. So, I've just gone around in circles, I think. Great. That was stupid of me, but we'll just go around again, I guess. And, uh, yeah. It's it's pretty short, this place, so it, you don't have to worry about like getting lost. It's rather straightforward, too. So, step on this tile and you'll get teleported over here, which will lead you to a HP up. Which is actually like a decent enough item, I guess. Not the greatest, but you know, it's decent. You can use it to increase your Pokemon's uh, base HP. So that's not too bad. I believe we're meant to go all the way over this way. Oh, no, okay, no, we're not. We're meant to get this full restore, though. Well, we get the full restore, so adds to our collection. And then we will step on this one. Repel, we're off right at that moment. Okay. But we're pretty much at the top, I believe. So when we come out on the other side, we get a wild battle. I've already caught Speakun in here, so it doesn't really matter. Hey, the wild Pokemon is a Rattata, of course it would be a Rattata, and it's on level 22, but it doesn't matter, I'm not going to catch anyway, and I know people were saying I could use the legendaries, I wasn't going to use the legendaries anyway, I'm just catching them to show how you can get them, I guess, and here we are, so there's a Pokemon sitting atop here on the Tin Tower, and let's see what Pokemon that is, even though you already know. Alright, so here we have the legendary Pokemon Ho-Oh, the fire and flying type. So it's probably not a good idea to have Parasect out here first, but I'm hoping the Quick Claw will allow me to use Spore first, and it didn't, but luckily Ho-Oh went for Recover, which was stupid, and I get to get Spore off, so that's good. Parasect doing what Parasect does best, that is getting Spores off on legendary Pokemon, and then we'll switch out into uh, Slowbro to try and combat this thing. So. Slowbro can actually do decent damage to this thing. I can go for a Surf, it shouldn't do that much. Maybe about uh, a third, because Ho-Oh is rather good special defensively. So I'm almost certain that it can take probably two Surfs, and that will bring it down to enough HP where I can start trying to catch it. So let's see how much the Surf does. And it is doing over half, which is kind of putting me off going for another one. So I'm going to go for Psychic, because Psychic is not super effective and therefore shouldn't do as much damage as uh, 
as that Surf did. So, we'll see how this goes. We'll go for a Psychic. And Psychic is going to bring it down to red HP, which is perfect. And we get this special defense drop. So I'm kind of weary on whether I can attack it again, at least with Slow Bros. Let's go for an Ultra Ball. See if we can catch this thing. It'd be cool if we could catch it with the first one. And I don't think we will, though, but it'd be pretty interesting. So, let's see. Okay, no, we're not. We're not getting it with the first one. And oh, I was still fast asleep, which is sweet. So, this thing likes to take a little bit of a nap, I guess. Should I go to, I think, 65 Ultra Balls, I will speed up. Because that will probably be taking me way too long otherwise. So, yeah. I'll start speeding up and playing some music once I get to 65, unless I catch it before then, which I have! Yes! <laughs> Two Ultra Balls, not bad. Not too shabby at all. Ho-Oh has been captured, and that is pretty sweet. <laughs> that is actually very, very good. <laughs> I did not expect that. All right, these legendaries just want to be captured. Anyway, so here we have Rainbow, the Ho-Oh. And what I may actually do now, seeing as I have like, plenty of time left in the episode, I may show you what happens if you bring Ho-Oh to the Runes of Alf. So, what I'm going to do is just uh, collect all the items on my way back here from the uh, Tin Tower. And then we will probably, yeah, we'll go to the Runes of Alf. It makes sense to do that scene as I can show you what happens if you go there. So, let's just uh, not walk into the wall. I'm so excited that I started like, walking into the wall. But anyway, uh, that was very, very easy. I didn't even get attacked, which is good. It means I lost no Pokemon, and it also means that... Uh, I have plenty of Ultra Balls for the next two Legendaries I have to catch. I still have to catch two more, and I will be catching them eventually. I'll actually be catching one of them next episode, and then the other one the next episode. So, eventually, I mean, by eventually, I mean, like, very, very soon. So, yeah. Let's just make our way back here. There is an item over this way, I believe. Or, there's two teleporters, which leads to two items. And we can come and grab those. So, one is right here. It's a quick U-turn. And it's a Nugget, so I'm actually considering picking that up. I might just use the HP up I have to, uh get rid of stuff or make room in my bag so what has the lowest HP uh, Parasect actually has the lowest HP but Parasect's not a main party member so the next lowest is Batman so Batman will get that and uh, I might as well give the amulet coin to a Pokemon seeing as I could do with the extra money even though I only have one more trainer battle so I guess it doesn't really matter if I use it or not anyway over this way we have a max elixir which is great because you know it's always good to have those PP restoring items anyway I believe that's all the items we can get through the teleporter parts, so we can go out of this place now, or go down to the next floor, and collect the items that are around there, seeing as there's some stuff around. So yeah, we'll do that. I actually have to do the other puzzles at the Runes of Alp too, I forgot all about that. I've only done, like, Aerodactyl and Kabuto, so I may as well do those whenever I, uh, am I going the right way? Yeah, I am going the right way. Um, <laughs> whenever I get back, so, over here we have a escape rope, which... Doesn't really, I'm not gonna get that because I am pretty much just gonna be walking back anyway, so it doesn't really, it's not really in my best of interest to get that and take up bag space. Actually, I couldn't eat that when getting out of the next place, so I may actually go and retrieve that. Uh, yeah, I think I may actually have to go and retrieve that because that would be pretty handy for whenever I'm getting out of the next uh, area or the next uh, legendary area, I guess. So, over this way, we'll get this item first, and this item is a Ultra Ball. Good. Pretty much uh, reclaimed the one that we lost, seeing as we caught it with another one, so that's pretty sweet. And uh, over this way will lead me to the escape rope again. So I'm actually going to toss a... this revive. What the hell is this doing here? We don't have no revives in the Nuzlocke. What is this stupidness? Alright, so pick up the Ultra Ball there, Stu. Come on, there we go. So we got the Ultra Ball. And that's sweet. And uh, yeah, I'll just uh, go up this way. And um, I don't remember what that other item over there is. I'll try and get it though. Just for the sake of getting it, considering I have like so much time left, because I caught uh, Ho -Oh very very easily, I think it's uh, I think I should get it. So, where's that? Where are my repels at? Where are my repels? There they are. Um, yeah. I should. I, why am I carrying the charcoal? I don't. I have. No, I don't have a fire type to give it to. Even though I could catch a fire type, I think at the uh, place, the uh, it's a PP up. Okay, that's not really important, but. Uh, I can get what? Well, where am I going? <laughs> I could get one at the uh, Mount Silver. That's the place. Wow. I could end up getting a fire type there. I believe you can find like wild pony toss and rapid ash there. That would be pretty sweet. And now I have to find my way out of this place because I totally forget. Um, great. Where am I going? Maybe I have to use the escape rope here, and I'll have to buy. Oh no, it's over here. Duh. Wow. I'm stupid. I'm very. You guys know already that I'm stupid, but this that yeah. This, that. That just made me look even stupider. Anyway, now we are out of the tin tower, and let's see what Yusin says. I knew it. 
I need to get to see the Pokemon of the rainbow colors too. It happens just as I envisioned it. My research isn't bad, I might say. I'm going to keep studying Pokemon to become a famous Pokemaniac. And this guy says, When the legendary Pokemon appeared, they struck terror into those who saw their rise. And some even took to futile attacks. The legendary Pokemon, knowing their own power, fled, ignoring the frightened people. That's pretty cool. Legendary Pokemon, very considerate of people's feelings, I guess. Anyway, let's head to, I believe we're going to Azalea Town if we want to do the Runes of Alf. So we're going to head there and then uh, see what's going on at the Runes of Alf. And that's pretty much it. So we'll go to the Runes of Alf, do the puzzles, probably end up speeding up the puzzles because they'll probably take me forever. And uh, we can have all the Runes of Alf puzzles done, I guess, and all the unknowns unlocked, which is pretty sweet. So... Let's go and do that, and I have to get my, uh, I have to get Toho out of the Legends box first, I made a Legends box for the Legendary Pokemon, and I also have to get my Spearow out so I can fly, so let's switch to box one, so I can get Spearow from its box, and use it to fly to Azalea Town to speed this up, because it's taking forever, and, uh, we will withdraw Flyer, so let's do that real quick, where's Flyer, there it is, I have to deposit a Pokemon first, stupid me, uh, Toad, you did well, you're not really necessary here for this next part, so, we will get Flyer, I'll deposit something else too, because I need to get uh, Ho-Oh. So, let's uh, deposit... Um, I need Heracross for strength, I don't need Batman for anything, so Batman you can chillax for the next few minutes. Switch box, just speeding all this up because it takes forever and no point in watching yet. Let's get Rainbow, who I believe is holding the Sacred Ash, which uh, revives Pokemon from, like... It revives your team fully with PP and everything, so... Or one Pokemon, but that doesn't matter, because again, Nuzlocke, so therefore, revives are... Pretty much null and void, and totally wasteful and useless. So here we are at Azalea Town, we'll actually be coming back here again soon, because there will be another legendary Pokemon to catch around this area, and um, to get to that legendary I need to use a cheat code so I can get the item required, so I'll have that cheat code in the description whenever I go to catch that Pokemon, but for now, we are just going to use a uh, Max Repel. The one thing I'm sort of worried about now is that I've trained up Parasax to level 50, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to catch that, I'll have to weaken that Pokemon down, because it's level uh, 30, so it's not going to be necessarily the easiest Pokemon to weaken down at that level. Anyway, what we're going to do is surf up this way, I haven't actually battled the trainers up here, so I'll have to take them on, I think. There's only a few, but, I mean, I'll still have to battle them anyway, because I didn't battle them before, even though I probably could have avoided them there, but whatever. And his Pokemon won't even be that high, because you're, you're kind of meant to come up here the instant you get surf, I guess, or whatever. So yeah, here we have Leonard. And Leonard has a Geodude, I can just kill these things with like two uh, Revenge if Dim is at the front, which he is. So yeah, we'll just go for Reversal. Why do I call it Revenge? Even though there is a move called Revenge, I think, so... You know, yeah, there's Reversal anyway, which will take out that. And next up, we should have another uh, Geodude or Machop. Yep, Machop. So I can take that out with a Strength as well. And that is pretty sweet, so... Just use Strength and, uh, yeah. So, this has actually been a pretty fun episode, I think I've... I'm pretty happy with how everything's gone so far, I hope everybody else is happy. I feel like I'm such like a pro at catching legendaries, just because how well that went. And, uh, every time I've tried to catch a legendary so far in a game, it's gone pretty well. Even though with Life Platinum, I will admit I had the Master Ball code on, so I mean, that doesn't really count, I guess. There's another trainer to battle, but first we are gonna go over this way. I believe there's a trainer to battle over this way, too, so I mean... Alright, once we get outside, so... It doesn't matter too much if I avoid them or not, they're not necessary trainers. Anyway, push that over there. And we are at the Runes of Alf, we need to jump down over here, and head into this room. So, let's just take a look at what this says. This one says, Water. So, I believe you need a Water Stone, which I don't actually have, which sucks. And I believe I actually have to go the whole way around again to get back to the Runes of Alf. So, anyway, I'm going to do this puzzle, I'll speed it up, because it'll probably take me forever. So, I'll see you guys after I do it. Okay, I don't even remember that puzzle, so... <laughs> um, I'm gonna just cut back to whenever I'm at the room with Ho-Oh, I guess. So, I will see you guys then. Alright, so we're at the other side of the Runes of Alf now, and, um... I battled this trainer already, he has a Giraffe Rig, which is on level, like, 29, I think. In this grass, you can find Natu and Smeargle. I uh, probably should go for Natu, honestly, even though Smeargle can learn every move, but you have to use the move Sketch first, and then go to, like, a move relearner, which I'm not even sure is in this game, but if it is, then that's fine. Anyway, what we're going to do is come into this room here, and I don't even think I'm going to do the puzzle. I just like totally froze on the last puzzle. It's like, uh, 
I don't even know what to do. So, what we can do is switch Ho-Ho -Oh to the front of the party, I believe. And if we interact with this, it will say nothing because the wall will just crumble because Ho-Ho -Oh is at the front. And it will open up a passageway. So, let's see what is back here in this room. We got some goodies. Uh, we got a gold berry, which is awesome. We also have a mystery berry, which will restore PP. We have a charcoal, so a second one if you want two. If you have two fire types, then two charcoals. And finally, we have a revival herb. So, I'm only going to take the gold berry. I think I'm going to toss something in my pack here that I don't need. And, uh, pretty much I don't need, uh, any of this stuff. Really. I don't need the never melt ice, so... Well, actually, I could use Never Melt Ice to power up Ice Punch on Needle Queen, so I may give Needle Queen the Never Melt Ice right now. And, uh, there we go. So, I'll just take the Gold Berry. And with all that said and done, I'm gonna wrap it up here. In the next episode of Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke, we are gonna be heading to the Whirl Islands, a place we haven't explored yet, to go and catch our next legendary Pokemon. So, again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I will see you guys for more shortly enough. So, catch you then.